Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk very quickly about hand signals. I'm going to show you one-handed number hand signals so you can be like a pretty cool pro. So stay tuned for that. Back when I was uh, in technical dive training, in technical dive training very often one of your hands could be busy with something. A piece of equipment, a tank, and you want to be able to give most or all of your signals with just one hand. I think one of the standards for what's your air is something like this. Again, that's two hands, so I, I use this. And that's probably just a me thing. But uh, that's how I ask my divers, what's your error? And of course, we talk about that in the briefing. And then for the numbers, you know, I've always thought that the numbers like, you know, like eight, you know, if you got black gloves and black fingers, I, I don't know. I mean, that, that can often be kind of problematic for me, even, even with two hands. So for us, here's the numbers, very easy. You've got one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine. One, five, zero, and zero, I would use a fist. I, I see a lot of people use this with uh, the one-handed signals. Personally, I don't think it makes a difference because with a lot of gloves, you, you can't really see that there's a hole there anyway. It'll be filled, especially in the winter. So I just, I just use that. Uh, very easy, one, five, zero. So you've got one, two, zero, one, seven, zero. So one, seven, zero, one, eight, zero, one, nine, zero, and so on. Oh, I've got 80, so make sure the fingers are apart, 80. Again, I think it's a really good system. Uh, we use it all the time. If you're gonna use something like that, you definitely wanna check with your buddy before the dive and agree on what the hand signals are. Personally, in my group, you know, I don't use the, I, I recognize, but I don't use that, the half tank and the, uh, you know, I'm low on air, things like that. We just we just use the actual number, right? And I've got my signal there. So before the dive, make sure you uh, decide with your buddy and you agree on various hand signals, the important ones. And if you want to use the one-handers, why don't you both uh, talk it over with your buddy before the dive and you could be a, a cool one-hander like a tech diver as well. Thanks for stopping in. See you on the beach. Here's the short story. So my brother back in the day had, had a boat and he lived in Florida. So we decided one time, one of many times, let's, let's rock up on the boat and go for a dive. We got on the boat, we went out to, I think it was Pompano Beach area, and we just anchored out there, like offshore and just dove. We didn't research like what was interesting to see there, anything like that, we just went. We got what we deserved in that situation. We went down and it was just sand. You see this, huh? See this? this is sand, yeah, it's sand. You know it's gonna be 100 years from now, huh? It's gonna be sand! So, we got to the bottom, I saw it was just sand, I didn't have high hopes because in the places I dive, sand usually means you're gonna see nothing. Other places, your mileage may vary, I get it. So I gave him the hand gestures, and the hand gestures roughly, in my mind, the hand gestures roughly said this. Let's look around here for 15 minutes, and if we don't find anything interesting in 15 minutes, let's call the dive, go up, and find another spot that's better. He, he said, okay, let's go. We went, we did our thing, and uh, we came back. And actually, actually, when we came back, we came back and we, all, we, we didn't find the anchor. We found a drag mark where the anchor was. So the boat became unmoored and because it was sand. And luckily, it just drug maybe a couple hundred meters or something. Very lucky for us. That, that baby could have been out to sea. We got up on the boat. My brother's like, hey, what did you do? And I said, you know, like I said, you know, look around 15 minutes, pop up if it's not good. And he said, no, no, I said, let's go up immediately. So the shortcoming of gestures, anything beyond like, I'm cold or look at that or what's your air, let's go up, just fails for me. So I have great respect for folks who can have a, a, a long conversation and hand gestures. Thanks again for joining. See you on the next video. Bye-bye. One, seven, zero, one, eight, zero. That was wrong.